Hey guys, so this is the follow-up tutorial on how to set up the Unity part for your custom Ghostly Dragon. In the previous video, we set up through Blender on how to make your own custom dragon and then exporting it as an FBX. So in this project, if you haven't gotten to this part yet, I'll put a link below on how to set up your Unity project for the very first time. But once you have your FBX imported into your project, I've imported mine inside my model folder and I will show you guys how to set this up. So I will hide everything in the scene for now. And let's get to work on the FBX. So click on the FBX and there's several things you need to set up first. So the first thing you need to do is go to rig, set to humanoid, go to model, and make sure you check read and write. And also check legacy blend shape normals. Hit apply. Once that's done, just go back to rig and you want to hit configure. Go to head, click on the jaw, and delete it. If you don't delete this, your mouth is going to get stuck open. I also recommend deleting the toes. You don't really need them. And then just hit done and apply. All right, so this FBX has a humanoid rig, so it's ready for VR chat. So let's drag her in inside the scene. Right now, she's completely blank. And we're going to use some of the pre-made materials and just putting it onto the model. So let's go to materials. And I recommend going to the hierarchy into body. So you'll have the blend shapes here. You can just hide this for now. I recommend just locking this so you can have this at all times. So let's put in her eyelashes, her blush. Let's go to put her some eyes. Uh, let's see. Eyes go here, so I'm going to give her some green eyes. And let's see. Give her some alternate outfit. So for this one, this one is not going to be on the body, but it's going to be in this one. So I recommend in this part, I'm just going to unlock this. Go to outfit. So same thing as body. This has M underscore outfit. So I would recommend just dropping it in here. You can also just drag it onto the model itself. I think that's, that'd be much easier. But sometimes there are meshes inside the model that is very hard to get to. So that's why you would click on the mesh itself and then just dropping it inside this list. I'm going to give her this. This. And I think that's everything for the outfit. All right, let's go to body. I'm just going to lock this again. Let's go to body material. I'm going to give her this one. Give her the wings. Give her the horns. And let's give her the hair. And finally, I just need the fluff. There you go. And that should be all the material accounted for. So the next step is adding the fizz bone. And I recommend using a tool, a tool called pumpkins tool. So this tool is going to help you save a lot of time. Essentially, it's going to help you transfer fizz bones from one original model to another. So I will put the link below on where to get this. And you just go to release. Once you go there, you have the Unity package. Just download the latest release and then just drag it into your project and then import. So once you have that in, you'll have a tool here, Avatar Tools. I have mine right here. So essentially, at this point, you want to grab the your custom dragon, set it as the main target. I'm going to unhide. I'm going to unlock this first. So I want to copy all the fizz bones and components from this avatar onto this new one. And this is where pumpkin tool comes in handy. All you have to do is drag in the one you want to copy from and hit copy selected. So when you select her now, she has all the fizz bones and components from this one. There are some things you will have to tweak 
for example, her whiskers does not have fizz bones. So that's something very easy to fix. Let's go to the fizz bone here. Drop down to whiskers. So this is the fizz bone script component. Right now it's disabled. Let's turn that on. Since she has two whiskers, I would recommend copying this component and then paste as new. So that means you have two components for her left and right. So now you have to set up the root transform, which is the root bone for where you want the fizz bone to take place. So let's go down to the armature. Let's go all the way down her spine, chest, neck, head, and find her whiskers. So whisker left and then the whisker right. And as you can see, you can see these uh, fizz bone appear on the whisker. Sometimes there are some weird things that doesn't copy exactly one to one. Uh, so for example, I need to fix this. In this one, their, her thigh highs, her legs are shrunken in so that it doesn't clip as much. But that's not the case for with the fishnet. Since it's transparent, it doesn't matter. So to remedy that, let's go to the body go to blend shapes all the way down to thigh highs set that back to zero i also recommend hiding the bikini for now and with how the animation is set up for the toggles it's going to uh, activate when you toggle it inside the avatar menu and i see that she has the fluff sticking out so we can also fix that by going to blend shapes and finding hide neck fluff let's turn that on and there you go and essentially she is ready to be uploaded let's hit play mode and there you go it's got all the fizz bones so with that out of the way you can go ahead and upload her Capture a thumbnail, capture, there we go. And if there's any warnings, uh, just hit auto fix if there is the option. Hit build and publish. All right, so she's uploaded. You can pop into VRChat and see how she goes. All right, so here we are inside VRChat. And there she is. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, inside of unity i forgot to mention that when you copy from a pumpkin tool the parent constraint for the dragon's breath it needs to be set to the head right now it's set to none otherwise uh your fire is just going to get stuck in midair if you're moving your head around so it, you need to pair in this to the head and that's a quick fix just going to the spine chest neck and grab the head bone and use this as a source and activate. So now the particle system is attached to the head. I forgot to mention that. So there you go, and that's the fix for it. But yeah, that is how you set up a custom ghostly dragon from Blender to Unity to VRChat. All right, guys, thanks for watching.